Hello everyone, it's Jay, probably better known as T1 Glistener Elf, and it's time for another day of MTG Arena. I love you, Seth. So, you see that the daily reward here is kill 15 of your opponent's creatures, and while we have Merfolk, and while that's maybe my favorite deck that we rock here, uh, we're instead going to be rocking Drakes. Uh, they're a little bit better at directly killing the creatures, not necessarily just through combat. But first, we're going to make some changes to the deck. But before we do that, shoutouts to Team Ether. I am now a member of Team Ether, Ether Hub. Uh, shoutouts to Andre, shoutouts to Michael1916 for letting me know that they exist. So if you go down in the description, you'll see a link to their website where I will be posting articles and whatever else I can. <laughs> if you see some graphics around the screen, that's the reason why. Uh, also, I am now affiliated with TCG Player. So there's also a link down in the description. If you want to purchase some cards from them, please use that link because it helps out the channel. It really does. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, I don't like plugging myself too much, but that's as much as we're going to get on that. So let's see. For the deck itself, so I think we if we're going to try to just kill creatures, let's make a few more changes to the deck. So Blink of an Eye is good. Disdainful Stroke is good. Uh, but if I'm just trying to kill creatures, let's strip it down to... Well, creature kills, but hello? I click. Hey, there we go. My computer can't be that slow. Come on. Come on. Alright, so we could add Shiv and Fire as a way to deal damage to creatures directly. Uh... Maybe? I mean, Land of War Elves is still a card. So we'll consider that. Let's see. What else do we have? Chandra's Pyrohelix. I, I like that. One more for uh, the ability to split the damage. Let's see. Hello? Um... Oh, you know, so there is a card back here that I, I passed over. Where are you? You're over... There's Reckless Rage. I passed over that. This is a deck... Drake's is a deck that can make use of it because it deals two damage to your creature and all the creatures in this deck survive that. The trick, though, is that, you know, we're talking Murmuring Mystic, Crackling Drake, Enigma Drake... Uh, those are three mana at the minimum, so while I can use Reckless Rage to one for one, the problem is that I have to have a creature already, and my creatures won't come down until at least turn three. So it's it's slow removal in the context of this deck. So if we're looking for one more, and let's assume we're not going to use any wild cards, that Shiv and Fire is up there. Um, Jaius Greeting, maybe. Three damage to target a creature, scry one. Uh... I, I think Shiv and Fire's maybe better, but I don't get to play this too often, so we're gonna try it out. It is an instant anyway, so we'll we'll try it out. Maybe this is wrong, <laughs> but oh well. If it doesn't work, it's just daily coins, and we're gonna play until we hit those 15. Uh, so let's get it started. Drake's time. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Today's flavor of coffee in the zero fox given. Oh, shoutouts to Fox McCloud, shoutouts to Melee Fox, is uh, just a French roast. Just a French roast. It's good. I haven't given it enough time to cool down either. <laughs> Alright, a parter. Oh, let's see. Oh, we're going to try out Pyrohelix right away. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. What's it going to be? Alright, passing it right along. Alright, what you got? Alright, nothing. Negative nothing, Ghost Rider. Alright, we're just gonna play an island. Well, we don't need to hold up full control because we have Opt in our hand. Um, <laughs> Alright, so that's something I do with Merfolk. If, if Merfolk is not an Opt deck, so, if I don't have a turn one play and I have an island, I'll put it into full control. Ooh, you are not going to stay around for long, bud. Just letting you know, I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I can't suffer that guy to live. Alright, scry that to the bottom. I have a feeling we're going to draw another land before too long anyway. Alright. Whale. Two damage divided as you choose. I'm gonna choose two at you. <laughs> That's the one. Cool. 
Why does it even give me that choice? I guess so that when you are presented with a choice, if you've up to that point not been getting it, you don't, you're not confused as to what's happening. Okay, tormenting voice, that's fine. So the creatures in this deck right now are Drake, other Drake, Murmuring Mystic, and that might be it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's take the two and get this bad boy out. Hello, everybody. It's Jay, probably better known as Turn 3 Enigma Drake. Oh, hi. Anything you can do, I can do better. I think I'm supposed to attack here. Make him block. Hello? Okay, okay. Slow computer is slow. Please block. Please block. Alright, nope, they didn't. They didn't, they didn't bite. I tried. I tried, folks. Alright. I can do anything better than you. There we are. Okay. Nice. What's that? Ooh, shock. There's Phoenix. Hey. Hey. Okay. Well, I can cast Discovery and then Enigma Drake. Could play both on defense. Let's see if we can get this bad boy big enough. That's not bad. Hmm. So, thing is, if I play the other Enigma Drake... No, this is probably fine. No, 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 no. Ooh. Yeah, I see that. I see that. I would like the ability to trade with the Crackling Drake, even if it means I take three. And so it's probably better for me to pass the turn. I could also try to double block, but if they deal with one of them, I'm in trouble. So we're going to say pass. I'll be taking three, but if I can live through this, then I'll have a Drake to deal with Phoenix. I also might get the chance to just clear a creature real quick. Okay. Sure. Uh, so the, there are only nine creatures in my deck. Four Enigma Drake, four Crackling Drake, a Murmuring Mystic. But there's also three Ral is it Viceroy. So mine is a pretty top-heavy Drake's deck. All right. You sure may. Just the one. Pass to blockers. Block here. Oh, crap! Okay, okay, okay. Pass two damage. I wasn't passing pass damage. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Alright. Okay. Uh -huh. Spell Pierce. Yep, you got me. It's still bigger, and that's what matters. Giggity. That's what she said. Alright. So, play Crackling Drake, draw a card, see what I draw before I make my land drop.
and then pass the turn. See what we have. Ooh, ooh, mmm, mmm, mmm. It's definitely not right to tread. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Rao, kill Drake. Think you can beat me? I can try to strike Rao here. And then we just two for two each other. That's probably the right thing to do, right? I'll take three, and then I'll have an Enigma Drake. And Drake is going to try to wall Phoenix for a little bit. Drake, backed up by Anticipate, might be able to do it. Oh, double Drake, especially. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this mess. <laughs> Look at this mess we have here. This way, if they coil me, I'm fine. Lava coil. Okay, Optus good. Optus pretty good. So I don't think they've done any discarding since the tormenting voice. Well, and the uh, uh, the radical idea as well. That's right. They jump started it. Tormenting voice again. Okay. Well, what's going down? Let's see what you got. Good. Okay. So. Main phase anticipate feels wrong, but I'm gonna try it because I'll still have five mana left open afterwards. And that's why, that's why folks, that's a good reason why. Okay. So this is fun. This is real fun. Instead of dealing with the Phoenix directly, we're actually just going to plus Rao. So, I, I probably should have... Well, it doesn't matter. There, there is a difference in what I do between uh, going for quest and going for the win. Going for quest is just kill the darn thing. Kill the chicken. We're going to be more cautious than we have to. Even though that's probably going to get me in trouble. Um... No attacks. No attacks. Next time we're gonna we're gonna plus Ral again after drawing a card, and we'll see if we can try to one shot the opponent because we have greeting. Oh, by the way, uh, part of the reason I don't have phoenixes in this deck is because I only have one phoenix on here. Three damage to any target. Yeah, this is the downside of playing it safe, super safe like that. If they just have a strike, we're dead. They don't, but we're, we're cutting it close, folks. We are cutting it close. Hmm, decisions, decisions. There's a strike. Do we win? Do we win here? Yes, we do. We just win. Straight up. Sure. Spell pierce that. Alright, and then that's that's game. Yeah, okay. We got there. We got there. That that seemed like a weird game. I I know that there's a better way to, to navigate that game than the way that I did. Alright. And we only killed three creatures that whole time. <laughs> uh let's try that again. We'll get a few games in, for sure. Even if we win every one, it's still going to take us a while in all likelihood. And we saw both Chandra's Pyrohelix and Jaya's greeting. So that's nice. Huh. 
Gaines Goblin. Who that? Okay. I will... Yes. Cool. Alright, what you got? Oh. My touch screen. Oh, my touch screen is working. Yay, you can do stuff like this. <laughs> Alright. You can shuffle your hand nervously online. Um, I don't... I'm, I'm going first. I don't need to get greedy. We're just gonna let that come in tapped. Alright. Let's see. Mountain Pass. Anticipate for land. Ooh, thought erasure. Uh, folks, I think I'm supposed to anticipate here. That way they can't take the anticipate and leave me off a land drop. Alright, now they do it. Now they got it. And of course they take the drake. Of course. Ha! There is exactly zero chance that this Enigma Drake lives. Exactly zero chance. But let's go. We're actually going to get a little bit of damage in now. I don't think this is the kind of deck against which... Well, I could also just play another Drake. Hmm, folks. Hmm. Yeah, this is fine, especially with Beacon Bolt in hand. I'd like to get my graveyard charged a little bit for Beacon Bolt. Alright, gonna do anything about the Drake now? They have cards, clearly. There it is. There it is. Okay, you got me... Oh, they, they killed it. That's right. That's not a Crackling Drake, so it doesn't go to hand. Ooh. Alright, options. Let's kill it now. Let's kill the darn thing now. They already know it's a card. Let's just do it. Hello? Tapped. Alright, cool. Whew. Ooh. Oh, God, not again. Stop. <laughs> Would you stop, please? Alright, if we have a land, land lightning strike drake would be kind of nice, kind of decent. It may be correct. Yeah, I'm going to play a drake here instead. Uh, I'd like to save the lightning strike for a planeswalker that they might have. Especially since the, it's already big enough that they're going to have to do something in order to even attack with the guard mage. Have I played you before, by the way? I don't actually remember. Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. It is a deck that can run Settle the Wreckage, of course. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Mm, it's gonna be a brave new world when there's no more Settle the Wreckage. I'm actually gonna strike it here. I'd like to not have any pressure on Ral when I draw a land. Although, Ral's probably not resolving. This is this is the Esper Surveil deck. You know what? This isn't a fight you can win. <laughs> you know what? This is... Okay. I like it. Well, not if I don't draw something real soon, folks. 
Anticipate now. Try to find something. Uh, do what we have to do, I guess. Oh, no, jeez, jeez. You idiot. You idiot. You, you get a land so you can play Rao. Oh, you idiot. It's fine. At least I'll be able to play the Mystic. Okay. Well, I guess it ended up working out. They took... Oh, okay. They took the Rao. Even though I didn't have another land. I So they can deal with the Mystic. And Mystic on its own without anything else in hand is nothing to really fret about. Crackling Drag. You are resolving. Okay. You are going to get spun to the top. There is no way you're not, bud. Oh, no, no, never mind. They have an answer. They're, they have some way to deal with it. There's a D-Spark. 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 D-Spark sounds like a, a Yu-Gi-Oh card. D-Spark. 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 <laughs> no. D-Spark sounds like a mineral drink. Okay. You've come to T1 Glycerol for completely serious commentary. I'm sure. Does this resolve? Yes, it does. It Will it make a difference? Not at all. Alright. Well, at least we can maybe keep Teferi off of uh, shenanigans. Now, these are just humans. No lifelink, no vigilance, nothing like that. Oh, jeez. This is getting out of hand. This is getting way out of hand. Thief. God. <laughs> Good God, why? Uh, just when I thought I might be able to do something about uh, Teferi, just keep him off eight. Nope. <laughs> nope. We, uh, we aren't winning this one. Am I going to play it out? You bet I am. Sure. Why not? Draw a card. Whatever I draw, it's probably going to beacon bolt. Or be discarded to beacon bolt. Yep, that's exactly what's going to happen here. Okay. So beacon bolt targeting you for six. Discard a mountain. Oh, you have to hit, hit submit. Okay. I guess that's fair. Deal a ton of damage. Go to combat. Go to attackers. Swing you, boy up. Boyd. Uh, just making sure Teferi doesn't kill me <laughs> next turn. I won't let you win. Sure. You keep telling yourself that. You're actually probably right. <laughs> You're probably right. Just being honest. Alright, that resolves. Keep up the pace. I'll try. It's tough keeping up with Teferi. <gasps> Oh, we don't have spell... Spell fears wouldn't matter anyway. Sure. Sure, why not? I am ancient. And I believe you. Heed my advice. Fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Yeah. Let's see what we can hit here. Gah. Okay, I guess that's a thing, but I only have five mana. So I can't cast it twice. Still, I guess it's a thing, and if nothing else, it builds to the quest. Alright, who's attacking? Come at me. Come at me, folks. Ooh. Well, one for sure. I can later put one at Teferi... Some number at Ugin. Alright. See what I draw. Hmm. No cards in hand. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Because this would be the turn for Settle the Wreckage. Give to Fairy just long enough to pop his ult. And then, uh, then we're in trouble. Okay, well, fun. There's a Crackling Drake. Not that it matters now, I guess. <laughs> Alright. 
right here. We're still going to pretend that we're in it, folks. We are going to pretend that we are in it. This would be at least one at Teferi, and I'd like to make it two... What the heck? Make it three... I know we're not winning this. You know what? You know what? If we know we're not going to win... There it goes. You did it! You did it! I maybe should have left them back so that they can block. <laughs> so that they can trade with these tokens so I can finish the reward more quickly. Alright, Teferi's fine. Let's slow this down. This might be a bad idea. If you say so. Hey, everybody. I have my windows open because I like the sound of nature. Until that. That's obnoxious. Okay. So at least we killed a creature, folks. We did it! We did it! We did it! We killed a creature! Uh, I want to thank my parents. <laughs> okay. Uh, huh. Crackling Drake, draw land, anticipate. Or we could do Beacon Bolt, we could do anticipate, whatever we draw goes into Beacon Bolt. Like, Teferi Time Reveler is just gonna minus. Time Raveler, Reveler. <laughs> like, he's, he's the most Rakdos thing. Uh, sure. Let's try it. If we hit a land, which we did, and it's a Sulphur Falls, too, then we can anticipate as well. Not that that matters a bit. Ecrits. No time for a brave fool. All right. Well, good game, opponent. You, uh, you did well. Minus three, yep, I've return Crackling Drake, that's fair. In another board state, they drew a card, but I, I would be about to draw a card too. Here though, <laughs> yeah, I, I play decks that usually don't care about Teferi Time Raveler, so it's not that big of a deal, but, oh, hello. <laughs> the undead make great Please just minus, okay, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's crazy. Just be crazy. Alright, we are on the mono, I, uh, <laughs> I don't care plan. We're on the mono kill creatures plan. Next turn I'm going to anticipate and use beacon bolt to kill something and then concede. Right on time. Hello. Oh, Jay, you know what? It doesn't matter, but I should have used Anticipate when Teferi was there. I wasn't even thinking about that. It doesn't matter. I've already given up on this game anyway. But, uh, I still should have. I still should have played correctly. We'll Anticipate. See what difference it might have made. <laughs> Not a bit. Not a bit. Well, it might have. I might have seen two and gotten the discovery. Alright. If we're going to anyway, let's just do it for the lulls. Alright, discovery. See what we can find. If it's another removal spell, I'll cast that instead. It's an opt. Let's see. Let's put opt down. Actually, you know what? What the heck? Let's, uh... What the heck? You don't matter, bud. You don't matter. I dig you, man, but you don't matter. Beacon bolts. 
targeting you, discarding you, and then say good game. <laughs> yeah, you did it. You did it. And then we'll concede. Hey, bud. I'm out of there. Go home. Go home and be a family bug. Well, okay. <laughs> That was a silly game, but it got us decently close. We actually have enough coins, but let's let's play until we get this pack, too. Maybe. It may take us a hot minute to get there. Okay. Mm. There's two more creatures. Two more creatures. Ooh. I'm taking this game very seriously, as you can tell. No, not exactly. Alright. Ready. <laughs> Downtime 58. Actually, Teferi even looks like he's giving us a fighting game. Not Teferi. Tezzeret. Other, other T. Fighting game stance. Round 1. Fight. Yes, we'll keep. We have a turn 1 play, a turn 2 play, maybe a turn 3 play, and then a turn 4 play. Yeah. I, I say this is fine. Alright, let's hide for our opponent. They're gonna see that we just drew the island, but that's fair. That's alright. We're gonna pass quickly so they don't maybe... Maybe they don't see that there was a pause for something like an opt. Probably did, though. Butcher. Ah, yikes. You know, that's not it. That's not fun. Let it resolve. Let's just opt. Just get it over with. Uh, sh Sure. I would like to be able to cast Crackling Drake. I, I have the guarantee now that I'll be able to. Alright. Suffer a Butcher not to live. This one. Specifically that one. And then I'll take two here. Submit. So that was a, an interesting little two-mana Lightning Bolt. That's fine. That's, that's not a bad card. I mean, it is kind of a bad card. Uh, no, it's fine. It's, a, it's an okay card. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Also, suffer not a zombie to live. Hold full control. Just strike it now. They don't have any more lands, apparently. Or at least they didn't dr just draw one, so... If we can keep them off their early plays, which to be fair, the deck is basically all early plays, maybe we'll be okay. Hold control. Let them think that we might have a shock. I hate that card. This is such a dumb card. If it had a restriction saying, if you cannot discard, sacrifice it, I would be okay with it. It doesn't, though. Why? Why? Alright, play the first one out. What do we got? Three? Okay, cool. I think we have killed our last creature, folks. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Ooh! Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no, folks. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ripperoni. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's opt. Let's see what we get. It's an anticipate. So if I could find another strike here. Well, I'm only at nine. Maybe I need to bottom this. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh, no, they have hasty stuff, so I, I need to do this now. So the, the idea is maybe I can anticipate to find another spell. Okay. It's only four. That'd have been a shock. Alright. 
Well, and another Regisar. Okay, let's, let's see. Plus one, plus one. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, good game, good game. Well, that was quick. Good news, we killed two creatures, so... <laughs> we got enough coins, yay! Even though we lost. That is such a dumb card, folks. That is such a dumb card. You know what? Consolation. Let, let's open a pack here. Let's open a pack, see what we get. Uh, I, I dislike that. I, I dislike big dumb cards. For the longest time, folks, I would not let myself play Tarmogoyf. Even when I did have the means to, to purchase it, I would not let myself play Tarmogoyf because to me it just seemed like a big dumb creature. And to be fair, it is. But you build the deck around it in such a way, it's not just like a two mana herp derp it's a giant creature, you have to actually build the deck around it. So uh, eventually I warmed to it. I require servants. Your corpse will volunteer. <laughs> okay. Okay, I know what deck that's going in. Ah, uh, I know exactly what deck that's going in. Also, this is either the third or fourth grazer for the land destruction deck. Uh, not that that should be a thing. It really, really shouldn't, wizards. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. As long as Risen Reef is a card, land destruction can't be a thing in standard. I tried. I tried. Crucible plus Memorial plus stuff like this in Llanowar Elves plus the three four mana land destruction spells in standard. Uh, until Risen Reef was around, that could actually be a deck, but now it it really can't, unfortunately. No, fortunately, it's land destruction. <laughs> I'm not April King. That shouldn't be a thing. Uh, other things, Teferi's Time Twist, cool. Uh, Return to Nature, also very cool. Hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing, folks. That's almost mainboard worthy in this format, in this best of one format. Alright, and then Kiora. And Kiora's cool. Kiora's pretty cool. Mm, we'll do it now. We'll do it now. I'm gonna get back to playing Drake's, but let's go into Karn Mud Black, because I know I will forget if I don't do this right here, right now. So we're gonna add another Liliana. What are we going to take out? So, let's see. I don't want to take out Murder. Ritual of Soot, Vraska's Contempt. I have a lot of, uh, dis of disruption, which I need. The deck definitely needs. Hmm. Uh. I don't know if I need... So even though the last time that I played this card, and that was in a deck that had three, it very much won me the game. Both modes were really useful. Uh, in this deck, I don't know. So combos here. It combos with Bag of Holding to let you draw a discard again, or to draw a discard and then sack it in the same turn. It combos with... Uh, if, if this were a Power Stone Shard deck, it makes more mana. combos with Icy Manipulator, and it combos with Mystic Forge. And that's not a lot. There's a, a pure colorless version of this deck that actually runs more, but in this version, I don't know that I need that many. But, but... Uh, that does deprive me of low to the ground cards, of uh, immediate options, turn one options. Oh, I, I'm basically just upping the curve pretty substantially by doing this. Uh, but I think that's alright, so we're going to take a key out. We're going to go to sideboard. We're going to take something out of the sideboard, probably one of the damping spheres. A damping sphere. And let's... Wait, 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 wait. Let's move Manifold Key to the sideboard as well. So this has a manipulator and a key in the sideboard. Uh, which might be useful, because Karn is a thing in this deck. Because of course it is. A lot of these are just filler. Like, I, I've never even gotten Juggernaut out. Which is unfortunate, because then I can't make the I'm the Juggernaut reference, but... Oh well. Oh well. And that's that for now, but you know what? Oh, and there's the Chandra's Blaze deck. Shoutouts to Chandra. 
Let's keep playing. Let's keep playing Drakes. I, I, now that I've gotten the reward, actually, let me switch it back to the other version. I'm just changing two cards. It's fine. Or at the very least... Yeah, I'm definitely taking out Greeting. And I think that I would like to take out Pyro... Well, we'll keep Pyro Helix in. I, I believe that that's alright to keep in. And put Blink of an Eye. Where'd you go? Hello? I, I said click. There we are. Cool. This one doesn't even bother with a sideboard. Yay! <laughs> Alright. See what we have going on here. And then let's go and play a game. We'll go to five. We'll do two more games. But today, I think, is going to be a Drake's only de uh, day. I feel like playing Drake's. I don't play them enough. They're, they're fun. Drake's are fun. Space Camp. You know what? I might actually make the the Popper Land Destruction deck just to show you how obnoxious that is. Uh, not today. I'll do it another day. Opponent goes first? Sure, this is fine. This is fine. Let's see what they're on. Swamp? We can probably afford to take the damage here. If I see a turn one Swamp and not a turn one play, I'm going to be alright, I think. Um, so we'll pass it right along. No point in trying to bluff that I don't have anything. I just put a steam vents in untapped. Alright. Alright, what you got? Let's opt. Ooh, into a strike. You know what? That's okay. That's more than alright. Draw that card. So, tiny problem. Teeny tiny itsy bitsy problem. Uh, it has afterlife. I'm not worried about the death touch because so much in this deck flies. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> Those bugs are so loud. Uh, so instead we're going to just do a discovery. Let's go on a discovery. The safari. Ooh, you know what? That's fine. I don't think that I need the mountain. I'm going to put the mountain in the graveyard, but Crackling Drake, I can live with that. I can definitely live with that. Pass it right along. Pass it right along. Alright. Hey, gain a life. Woo! Yay! Yay! Woo! This is my happy face. Alright. Surveil 1. What's the rest of this thing? X becomes a copy of target creature card in your graveyard with CMCX, except his name is Lazav the Multifarious. It's legendary in addition to... Okay, so it doesn't have hexproof. I knew, I knew it wasn't the one with Hexproof. That's the uh, Return to Ravnica block one. Uh, but we're just going to kill this thing now. You're at two. Tech gummit. Alright. Uh, suffer this thing not to live. I don't want to give them even a turn. Well, no, I, I should, though. I should. They surveilled and they kept it on top. There's nothing in the yard right now. Yeah, we're going to pass. Hmm. Now we're going to strike you. All right. Got gotcha. you. Got him. Oh. Alright, what else do you have? Charter course, cool. Straight draw two. Drake numero uno. Alright, and then if I draw land, then the next Drake I can shoot out with haste. And that's always fun. Get death touch I'm a little less worried about when I fly. Freaking fly. No blocks? Hey, they might as well do it. Make me, make me click. Ah, oh, stop, will you? Okay, well that's, that's fine. I'll beacon bolt, get it back, draw a card. Or I'll just strike it instead. 
Maybe I'm supposed to use Beacon Bolt. Because I haven't seen a Planeswalker yet, and I might very well see one. Uh, well, if I strike, though, I'll be able to anticipate as well. So we'll, we'll do that. Plus, if there's a Spell Pierce, Strike gets around that. Alright. Enter, draw a card. With the, the kid in the meme that's like... <laughs> uh, oh, you know what? I can maximize velocity here. <laughs> Do I want to be that cheeky? Yes, I want to be exactly that cheeky. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> Muchas gracias. <laughs> Alright. Full control. Make them think I have an opt or something. Yep, that resolves. Alright, it's, it's dead, Jim. Right? Oh yeah, okay, okay. So sack it, they get the spirit, and then they're getting back a hostage taker? What's it? What's the thing targeting? Resolve that. And then... How do I see what it's targeting? Oh, it's just return a creature. Okay, cool, never mind. Now we beacon bolt. We can Beacon Bolt maximize Velocity again! <laughs> yes! Let's do it! <laughs> All of the cheekiness. Alright, pass. Pass to attackers. Not a thing. Cool! Alright. They have Spell Pierce, so I'm gonna play the... Or, they have Spell Pierce mana, so I'm gonna play the land first, just to be safe. Target you. I said, give me back Crackling Drake, please. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> All right. Sure. Why not? Why the heck not? Seven. Let's go. I've got you next turn if you don't do something. No, wait, no, no, that, that's right, that's right. That flies, that flies. I'm dumb. Okay. Alright, so they have another bone, right? Blood for bones? Yep, they do. Called it. Kill it? Are you gonna do it again? Please, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Eventually, they're going to be able to actually have the mana to cast it on the same turn. And then I'm going to be in trouble. But for right now, they don't, and we have our good friend, Rao. So please tell me they don't have Spell Pierce. Please. I need to hear this. Okay. So, I took a risk there instead of Beacon Bolting. But since they didn't Spell Pierce like two times... Cloud. I thought I, I might be in the clear. Maybe, just maybe, they don't have Spell Pierce in the deck. Hold this lightning rod. Thanks. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Alright. Pass it right along. Whew. The really late hello. This game is fun. I love this game, folks. Cavalier. Lifelink. ETB, sack another creature, da 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 da. When you do, destroy target creature and opponent controls. Okay, as you do, I guess. As you do. And then what's the rest? When it dies, return target creature card. Oh my god, are you serious? Three or less. Three or less, okay. Well, things we can do here. First, we'll plus Ral, because why not? No reason not to, I suppose. The weight is killing me. Blink of an eye. Ooh. Ooh. Is that better than another land, though? I think it is. So it's just gonna get back... Lazav. Oh, god. Well, Lazav becomes a copy of Hostage Taker. That's not as bad. No, it can become a copy of Cavalier. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. Folks, that's not good. That's not good at all. Do I just... Well, uh, I need to kill this thing. All 
All right, we're doing it. Let me keep this one. Ooh, a battle. I'm all tingly. Or it might just be static. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, it gets back Lazov. ETB. Oh, it puts it on the field. That's right. Interesting. I messed that up. I guess I did. I really stink and think I did. Really, really did. At least we have Blink, so if we need to, we can bounce Lazav in response. And that'll actually tie up a lot of their mana, so that's not such a bad thing. Thief of Sanity. Uh, we can kill that next turn, so we'll let that resolve. They don't have enough mana to turn Lazav into something, though. Do we... I, I would like to blink Lazav here. I think that that's an okay play. Not getting as much value as I would like, but I think that that's alright. Just the one. Bruised my ego too. Card advantage. Yeah, keeping him around lets us draw a card. So we lose a card to draw a card. <laughs> Hope we get something good. Oof. Yeah. I mean, that's a thing. Okay, we have all of the plays. All of the plays here, folks plays for days. We can Beacon Bolt to kill Lazav, which we are absolutely going to do. Target a creature, target you. Let's see, this leaves me with one, two, three, four left over. And so... Unfortunately, Opt, I think... You're the one to go. Right? No, no, no. Not opt. Anticipate. How do I un how do I unsubmit this one? Oh okay, here we go. You just have to click it really hard, apparently. Just click it really hard. It's a technical magic term. And then pass. Hmm, okay. Let's see. Thought Erasure. Ooh. I mean, no matter what I do here, they're going to take a Drake, so we'll let it resolve. Right? They have... The, I'm... Don't they take a Drake? Yeah, okay, that's right. Nailed it. Uh-oh, there's the one that lets you take control of a permanent. That seems like a reanimator thing. Very technical magic term, reanimator thing. Yeah, Disdainful Stroke is going right back in the deck. Ah! Stop! <laughs> stop, please. Please, stop. Alright, we'll do this now. Sure. All right. Yeah. Yeah, Disdainful Stroke needs to be here. Gee, I wonder what you're going to take control of. So this thing lets them take control of a permanent. Gee, I wonder. What could it possibly be? Gain control of target permanent. Uh, so we have to Pyrohelix it, don't we? Yeah, I think we do. Yes. Submit the one target. I can't see, so I'm assuming that's on two. I'm out. All right. What else do you have? Nothing. Nothing. You have nothing. Good day, sir. All right, Drake. 
Shoutouts to Drake. And past turn. We've already used our velocity, so we can't even attack here. Um, Agent of Treachery as a, what, 7 mana 2-3 is a little less... Uh, this, though... This, though, is a problem. Yikes. Oof. Okay. Let it be. Let's enter surveil, surveil 1. Yeah. Let's see what you got. Uh, just a land. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm sure you need plenty more of those. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Would you please stop? I, th I thought I hit resolve. Okay, there we go. Ah! Yes. Yes. You may sack a creature if you do blah, 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 blah. Yay. Uh... Ooh, it has haste. No. Haste and lifelink. Folks, this is not my happy face. <laughs> I'm having fun. Alright. Anticipate, see what we get. What could get us out of this? I guess that's a start if I just draw ridiculously well. No, even that's not enough. Ooh, there's a thing. Hi, thing. Like, we're gonna play the Sulphur Falls anyway. I shouldn't have done that, though. I really shouldn't have. I guess it could be beacon bolt uh, fodder later. Get out of the lab. Oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. Shock's fine. Alright. You must live. You must live. That's about the only hope I have. And thankfully, Cavalier is a 4-5, so it'll bounce off the Mystic, except that they're going to gain 4 life, but oh well. Except Lazav is out, and it's going to turn into something I'm not going to like. <laughs> Actually, what is it going to turn into? Let's see how, technically speaking, bleak we are. Okay. It's a notion th <laughs> It's a notion thief. <laughs> thief of sanity, right? Not notion thief. Notion Thief is the other one. Well... Block the one I can block, I guess. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> There's Beacon Bolt. They did put a Beacon Bolt in my yard. So I guess I, I shouldn't complain too much. There's an Enigma Drake, though. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's fine. Wait a minute, what else is in their yard? Oh, they only have two mana open? Okay, that's fine. Alright. Well, I can give up my Enigma Drake to kill an Enigma Drake. Oh, no, no, Jay, Jay, you fool. You fool. You fool! You play either the Beacon Bolt or the Ral Minus first, so that... <sighs> Jeez. They're just gonna get Lazav right back, because I'm an idiot. Okay. Whale. Still, I suppose I have to do it, right? I can set up a wall, and granted, my wall is bigger. Sorry, Ral. You're, you're gonna die no matter what. That Enigma Drake is a thing. And even if I kill the Enigma Drake, I've got two spirits to deal with. I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm a doofus, only a lot. Mm. 
Alright, alright. We'll play the Drake out instead. No, let's not attack. Let's not attack and say we didn't. Alright. This keeps the Beacon Bolt in my yard, and I get the Enigma Drake. I just have to, no matter what I draw, I have to use that on the Beacon Bolt. Okay. Yeah, what, what, what? First, we'll give him the good game. Good game. You got me. You got me. What? No! That's not what I meant to- No! That's not a draw! That's not- I didn't- That's... Not... Right? <laughs> That's not a th I blame my internet. Let the record show I didn't rage quit. I don't know what- Whatever. I don't know what happened.